Okay, really quick disclaimer. This thrift trip took me six hours, or I was actually six hours inside the thrift stores, which thrift store, which means I have a lot of footage, and this video will be split into two parts. So stay tuned for part two. Okay, let's get started. So today we're gonna start with the bags because I rarely show the bags. I love the bags, and this thrift store actually had a big variety of bags. This one, for example, is one by Gap. It was only $4.99. It has a strap so you can actually use it as like a crossbody. And as you can see, it's like brand new. There's like the little tag. And here's a tag by Gap. Really clean on the inside. And it didn't have like the price tag, but here, here's a little tag. Next up, I found this like fanny pack. It was like really cheap quality, but it was only $2.89. And I originally wanted it for like patches. I also found this cat bag. It looks like it's handmade, but it was really cute. I like the idea. I'm not a cat person, but I feel like this would be perfect for like work. Although I left it behind, of course, but the straps felt really good, like good quality. Then this bag was kind of weird. I've seen something before, but this one was actually broken. It's just very unique. It's like wood, but not really. It was also really cheap. This purple bag, I really like. I like the idea, the design, but it's not a color I would wear. For only $5.49, I found this other bag. I love the color. It's not something I would wear either, especially because of the handle, but it was cute. This one, was, for example, was only $7.89, and it's by Universal Thread. Really nice on the outside, and I actually do regret not taking this one. This one's like a little clutch, $3.99, like a wicker, more wicker baskets. This one was more interesting because of the color choices. It was only five, or sorry, $3.49 looks like. This one, I thought it was like raffloid for some reason for only $3.99. Okay, now we're moving into the shoes. I found like this wicker shoe it kind of reminded me of like that other bag that i showed before but it wasn't my size of course nothing is ever my size then they had these heels i liked the, co the color but as you can see obviously it's not gonna fit me i'm a size 7 that was clearly like a size 10 i think when I saw these, it kind of reminded me of my grandma. <laughs> these pair of boots, they kind of like, I don't know, I feel like the like Sunshine 83 would wear these. Then, guys, for $9.49, raw flooring boots, not my size. So, so upsetting. I really wanted these. I really wanted them. So yeah, as you can see, there's a vast variety of shoes. Then I really like these. I like the little cactus for $11.49. Again, not my size, but they're really, really cute. They also had a great variety of dresses, beautiful colors, perfect for the spring. And I actually do regret not taking a lot of them. This one, for example, I love the purple. And I love the purple, like like shade, but I don't like that it's kind of like tie-dye. It's by Gap, and it's a size medium. Only $15.99, so some of these prices are kind of like up there. Then I really like this, like, mini Mouse like dress, perfect for Disney, $15.99, but it didn't fit me. It was mainly because of this back part. It's like, it was, I felt like it was big on me, like a little bit stretched out. It's more like a medium, a large versus a medium. Then this romper uh, by Aerocombi, a large, $11.49. I also found a, a denim one. This is a skirt, but I don't know that brand. For, uh, I couldn't see the tag, $12.49. 11.49. Okay, oh, this one's also 
another skirt, but I don't like the bottom part. Like that bleached part. Yeah, 1149, this one's old navy, extra large. I really like this dress. I don't know if you can tell, but it has like white polka dots. It was really long though, and it didn't fit me, of course. But I really liked it. And also this one's like very colorful. I love the colors. Like I said, perfect for spring, but it's not my size. It's a size large. This one gave me like hippie vibes. <laughs> $10.99. And this yellow one, so pretty, so pretty for $13.99. It's like a Target brand. So as you can see, they had a great variety of dresses. This one is $13.99. It's by Loft, size large. And I really like the print, like the white and blue. I love wearing white, so this is something that I wish would fit me, but it didn't. And also this one, I like the like the sleeves and the bottom, how it's like loose and then it's also white. I do regret not taking this one. It's $12 and at the time I was like, oh, that's kind of steep. But it's like practically new and I love the color. I just regret not taking it. This one was kind of tight, but I really liked it. I like the color. It's like a, min a minty green, but see, it was also ripped from the back. $2.49. And then this one was kind of interesting because <laughs> look at the back. Like, yes, <laughs> it was $2.49. It's really interesting. This one gave me Wednesday vibes. I love how it's like meshed but it's black but it's i don't know it's like kind of cool okay moving on to the pants for 12.49 i found this polka dot fashion nova pant with like the bell bottoms not something i would wear again but it's like something pretty cool for 17.49 there's this lauren jeans i love finding lauren i always find lauren but of course it's not my size, it's a size 6 and it was actually bigger than a 6, it, it fit like an 8 then I always find a lot of gap pants but the prices seem like kind of steep sometimes like this one was $17 this one would have been perfect for the Bat Bunny concert also if it would have fit me but look at that, it's a size 6 and it kind of gives like, yeah, like summer vibes, you know, like the green. I rarely find overalls as well. This one was only $10 by Universal Thread. But again, not my, it's not my size, size 6. Then there's always loft pants. Everywhere I go, I always find loft pants. This one was $7.99. I really like the ripped like knee on this one. And then another one for $10, $10.50. The rip on this one was very interesting because it's only on one knee. But I love this shade of like black denim. Then there's always Calvin Klein pants too. I was looking for like a work pant. And this one was kind of interesting because it, it kind of felt like sweatpants. Or it looked like sweatpants. But like it, it wasn't. It was more for like work. But like a comfortable work attire. So anyways. But it was too big as well. Like look at that back. It's kind of like plasticky. I don't know. It's like not really focusing then i really like this pair of pants as well because it's like a green like faux leather 12.99 it still has a tag on more j crew i also wanted like some corduroy pants i know like winter is like basically over but 
like you know for next winter this was only 6.99 but yeah like all of this is big but you never know like i'm a size 27 like that pant but it, it didn't fit me And then this one also is kind of like the like the sweatpants, but it's meant to look like formal attire. It was only $6.99 as well. This also would have been perfect for the Bad Bunny concert. Although of course it doesn't fit, but you know, like for someone else. Everlane, I love this sustainable brand. I thrifted like a bodysuit on my, I think last thrift trip. And that perfect black shade, but this was not my size. This was actually really small because they their sizes tend to run small. And then I found a pair, a white pair. This was not Everlane though, I don't think it was. But I love wearing white, so I tried it on. Paxson. I really like this. It was like a mom jean, but it was obviously too big, $14.50. And I found a lot of like shorts that I tried on and you'll see that on part two. But here's like a little preview of everything that I found. Really cute prints, like different styles. And that's on part two. So that's a little preview. Back to the pants. I found Lucky Brand. I love this brand. This is actually my size, the size 4, but the color was kind of like, like, it like faded, so I left that behind. And then this one, I felt like the flowers were like really interesting. Not my size, but I really liked it. I like it when clothes are embroidered. And then here's more Calvin Klein. $14.50. There we go. More brands. Yeah, there were a lot of American Eagle, Hollister, Calvin Klein, Loft. As you can see here, lots and lots. And all of these were like in actually really good condition. They were just not my size or the fit that I like. So I left those behind. Some were like the tags and like the polo pants. This one reminds me a lot of one that I thrifted in Pasadena. I really wanted to try it. It was $11.89. <laughs> or I really wanted it to fit, but it didn't. Then there's this American Eagle one. $8.99. I like the wash. Look at this. This looks like this one gives me Tory Burch vibes. And I had already shown like a different pair at a different like on a different video. <laughs> it kind of looks like that too. And this interesting color. I really like this. I really wanted this for work. But too small. Too small. Then we have this pair of pants. I do not recognize the brand, but it was soft. But at the same time, it wasn't. Like, I don't know how to explain it. And then this pair of pants, again, perfect for like Bat Bunny or like even the summer coming up. It also looked like homemade. And then we're going to wrap up everything with this yellow pant. Look at that. I love this shade. This is like perfect for the spring. It's perfect, perfect. Of course, not my size like always. But yeah, wrap it up here.